Hi, I'm Alan, um, one of the members of the team, lead investigator. I've been with this group from the very beginning, five years ago now, since I met them. Fantastic group. <laughs> fantastic group. Uh, fantastic places we visited, as in bygone times. Been here several times now, absolutely love it. One of our best. One of our best, love it. Um, yeah, I started off on a ghost hunt. It's the, how, the whole point I got into it. Um, things that I'd seen, I heard that night, and I wanted more. Hence, picking up the phone, I got in touch with these guys. Not knowing, they were just starting out, and I went on an invest with them. They seen in me the enthusiasm, and it was like a month down the line. They asked me would I like to join, and I was jumping through hoops. Absolutely made up. Loved it, and I couldn't wait for it to carry on. Hence, here I am now, five years down the line. Because you shared the same passion as what we saw, yeah. we saw that in you, and you know that's really, you know, when we take members, ever you can see the passion in them, yeah. and you just stuck out, and you thought you need to be one of us. I just need to. Can you cut? I want to get a tissue. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, really nice people, lovely people. We're very close knit. We love what we do, um, and long may it continue, because we absolutely love it, and I certainly do. Yeah, like um, I mean, the whole reason why. Our group exists uh, is because a long time ago, a long, 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 long time ago, <laughs> when I was a kid, I mean, mum was my mum and not, not me paranormal friend, Partners. buddy, and all that sort of stuff. Um, I was petrified of the dark. I had to sleep with the light on, I couldn't go to bed unless my mum went to bed. Which he At still does. Time. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, he's married now with his own kid anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, you know, <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was a wimp. And, uh, cut a short, short story, even shorter. Um, I made him broader. Yeah, uh, my mum, my mum was there for me. Um, she made me understand that the paranormal exists. Uh, and as I grew up, I grew to question more and more things. And we went on a lot of paranormal investigations together, which. Uh, I spent a lot of the time running away from, but nonetheless, I went. Which these, these two guys still do. No, we don't. No, we don't. We're not professionals. Yeah. And I, I came to the realisation that it was time to face my fears, find out what's going on, um, and to show the world that, um, you know, there's, there is something going on that's, you know, there is, you know, we've witnessed quite a lot between all of us, haven't we? We've caught quite a lot of personal yeah. experiences. And it's just nice to us, be natural, just to tell you guys, you know, yeah, there is a life after death and people do come back and visit us and say hello to us. And, you know, and we're here today because this is what happened. You Especially know? on these things. Yeah, yeah a these, lot of voices. You know, yeah. Everything. Tools know? that we use in the trade. But yeah, we have caught a lot of stuff. Um, we've heard a lot of stuff. We've had, um, we've been physically touched. Um, some good, some maybe a little bit bad. <laughs> but, <you know. laughs> Especially my bum being touched. That, that wasn't me. But yeah, no. Um, as I said, as a group, you know, we just we love the bones of each other. Yeah, we the best thing about it is we're all one family. I know I'm yes. it's, it's mother and son here, but yeah, I'm a very know, close friend. Part of family, and, and Barry is the newest member of our family. Like adopted, like Oliver. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we've adopted Barry. Yeah. Um, he's adopted, an adoptive son. Mum and dad, adopted son. Yeah, he's, he's a paranormal investigator in the learning. Um, Joe can't be with us, sadly. Joe's in um, training as well. Yeah, yeah. There is five members of the team. Um, but yeah, as you said, um, Barry's in training. Hopefully, one day we've. We see in him the passion that they seen in me when I started. Yeah. So hopefully he'll take on board the experience that we give him, the training, things to do, things not to do, and hopefully he picks up from what we picked up. He's also our guinea pig. So yes. anything <laughs> I won't do, or anything my mum won't do, he goes. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I don't mind. No questions asked. Oh, I don't mind. I really do enjoy it. Um, Bible times. It was. Right, last year. Right, yeah. I used to yeah. go shopping there. Great old place to shop. Lovely antique centre. Seeing advertised the paranormal nights. Just couldn't find the time to go. Eventually managed to find the time. Lovely, uh, great little nights, lovely meal. Seeing obviously these guys are doing news, just thought I want a piece of that. So um, <laughs> luckily Pam brought me in and it's gone from there, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, because we can, like you say, like Alan, we can see the passion 
and that's why we need to do it. But yeah, as, as a whole, as a group, um, we are a very close knit family. Um, we're very approachable. Um, as far as we know, we're very, very well liked. Yeah, yeah. We're, which we're, is yeah. nice. You know, because we interact with the people as well, don't yeah, we? we? As well, we've, we've done some fantastic yeah. locations. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah, we have a very privileged, you know, yeah. to go to like to speak hall. Thanks to Lisa there, you know what, we couldn't, you know, fantastic. It was a brilliant night, raised a lot of money. Going to Liverpool Town Hall this year. Going to Liverpool Town Hall, Hague Hall. Town, yeah. Liverpool Town Hall, Hague Hall. We've done some major, major, and I know there's more to come. And Bygone is one of our regulars, so it's never let us down. There's always activity that goes on. So overall, we've done some fantastic yeah, locations. Yeah. Now, I could talk all night about the locations that we have done, but you will get really bored probably. But, you know, what, five we years? We all get bored of what you have to say. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I've got to put up with these three guys. Yeah. But yeah, you know what, we can't fault anything, well, can we? I love like, lots of bits. Like, like we say uh, all the time, it sounds a little bit cheesy, but we are who we are and we do what we do. Exactly. It's as simple as that. Exactly. Yes. Hi, we're Seth and Paranormal Investigations. My name's Alan. I'm Pam. My name's Aaron. And I'm Barry. Tonight we're investigating a place called Bygone Times in Eccleston, Chorley. Welcome to our night. Hi guys, here we are again. Bygone Times, absolutely fantastic place. It's the best one, you know, we've been here seven times now. What can we expect? Yeah, yeah. Expect a lot. yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. It's what we first things first, what we're going to cover. So we've got the basic hot spots. We've got downstairs, Bygone 3, Bygone 2. They're like the main something. We've still got a bit of daylight there as well, so. And we've got the activity up here as well, yeah. like we know there's a little girl, you know, we've got loads and loads. So we can't, loads we can't forget the street, I mean, that's your favourite place. The street, my, that's, that's my place tonight. I go to down here. Again, fantastic. Loads of knocks, whispers, record the game on video, yeah. on sound. So, first, first point of call really then is geophone for the street. This is geophone, yeah, dictaphone, K2 meter. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take the bunker because, well, as you all know, I had a personal experience last time. Come on, finger down. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to face that head on. I'm going to face my fears this time, and I won't. I'm going to get down to the nitty gritty of it and find out what's going on down there. Uh, so I'll, I'll take video camera with me, I'll document that. I'll take the SLR with me, and I'll take the REM pod with me. So all equipment's getting used tonight. Yep. Everything we can, we've got available, yep. we'll use. And I've got to do a load of You've got to do a long video. Yes. Yeah. You guys, three, you win with you three guys. Again, you have take walkie talkie. Yeah. You need any help? You want to come out with a yeah. cracking. So, everyone Excellent. good? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Barry, you're all right with that because you're new to SPI, so let's yeah, make yeah. sure you're on the ball for us. Last time, that's that's and again, tonight, you need to look after this guy. Definitely. He's still yeah. finding his way, and he will be looked after. He'll look after you, so you'll be fine. Well, guys, we're all happy with that. Oh, yeah. yeah, we are who we are, and we do what we do. Excellent. Right. Okay, guys. The famous bunker. Oh, I never thought about this place. Loads of activity in here before. Definitely. Annie, considering what we've had before, what do you think we should go with tonight? Equipment. I think EVP section uh, with the reports of sort of the audible activity and stuff from previous times we've been here, uh, EVP would be perfect. For so me. EVP session first? Yeah, definitely. I'm going to go in the Anderson with Barry. Yeah, yeah. With you, Barry, we'll yeah. put the K2 Probably on, yeah. get some hits in there, eh? Good time. Really good, good in there. Let's get together then, guys. Let's do it. You alright, guys, in there? Yeah. Okay, we'll get so. this EVP start, session started then, I think. Okay. EVP in the World War Museum in Bygone 3.
We know the spirits present within this room. We would like you to step forward. Affect the people in the Anderson shelter. Stroke the hair. Whisper in their ear. Step towards the light on the floor. We've been here before. Maybe you recognise us. If you could step forward, give us a sign of your presence. Feels a bit sort of drafty, like a cold breeze just run up my arm then on the sore side. Is it you who's present now? That is you dropping the temperature. Drop it some more, make it colder. Step closer. We mean you no harm whatsoever, become as friends. There was a knock in that corner. I heard that. Did you hear it, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did. Come on, step forward. We call you Winston Churchill, don't we? Yeah, the man in the bowler hat. Can you make that knocking a bit louder, please, sir? You just get that strange feeling that you're being watched. I've got the coldness round by my hands. Yeah. It's just like as if something's circling the room. Are you here trying to affect us? Can you do something else for us? Whoa, 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 I've just seen a light go right across there then. You're joking. No, no that was that was full on that. Thanks for that. Can you do it again for us so we all can see it? Come on into the building, come into this room. Don't be shy. We've come here to see you. Winston, as I call you. You know us. Shall we introduce ourselves to you and then you can say hello back to us? I'm Pam. I'm Barry. My name's Aaron. My name's Alan. So come on, you can say hello to us. The green light on the floor, the red light on the floor. Come on, you know what you're doing. Come on, come on say hello to us. Let everybody see. It feels really tense here now. It's building. Yeah, you can feel that draft coming towards your arms as well. It, it takes you back, doesn't it? Yeah. To 2012. Yeah. Definitely. Do you recognise us? Don't be frightened to come out of the shadows. We don't mean you with any harm. You've got our respect. We are here as friends. Shh. Sorry guys, did you hear the shuffle? Yeah, there's another there's a shuffle like a shuffling going on. Oh god, that got me. <laughs> <laughs> that got me. <laughs> okay. We did ask I asked for the clocks to go off upstairs. Come on then take it back down again. I've just heard a shuffle. Is that you trying to communicate with us? Is that you walking towards us? Come on, do something for us. Can you tap on something, please? Did you feel that? Thank you. Can I ask if you, if that was you, can you do it again? That was on the outside of this Anderson shelter, and that is where you usually sit. So, um, I've decided to come down at the bottom, uh, while my mum is upstairs investigating at the moment uh, with the K2 meter. Um, I've had a lot of personal experiences here before, uh, it's a very active place. Decided to bring down the REM pod with me. Basically this gives off an electromagnetic pulse. Anything that goes within the circumference of it, the lights will light up and signal that there's something here. So put this down here. Hi, I'm on Bygone 2. Last time we are here it's been reported that there's been sight sightings of children. Um, a young man, aged about 16. I'm going to switch my K2 on now and see if we can get any response. 
If there's anybody here, I'd like you to step forward. You know us by now. I'd like to step forward to the green light, the K2 in my hand. We've explained to you what these K2, this light is. If you come forward to the green, uh, green light, let us know that you're here, please. Make a noise. Come on, come forward. If there's anything in this room with me right now that wishes to communicate, please step forward. You may remember me from last time. You pulled on my t-shirt. Step forward to the lights in the middle of the floor. If you can do such a thing, you will create like a small alarm, small sound. You could knock on the walls, touch me, scratch me, whistle, or knock. Please just step forward out of the shadows and communicate with me. Okay, if that was you, can you do it again for me, please? Make it a bit louder. We got told there was a young man called Philip up here. I like switching on the toys, one of the children's toys. Let's see if one of the children's toys, one of the clocks go off, chiming. Come on, we know you can do it. Come on, you're being very quiet. Step forward and say hello to us. I am just down in Bygone 3, Pam's up in Bygone 2, and Aaron's in the bunker. The first time I came here as a member, I actually seen a cat where the alley is, and Alan's going to be investigating over there shortly. So if anyone here right now, can you make yourself known for me please? Okay, maybe you could turn the light on and off for me again. Okay, I've just there what could possibly be a clock tingling. So, if that's you, can you do that again for me, please, with this sound? There goes the crockery in the far left corner. I know Alan's in the street, so he's nowhere near that area. Okay, I'm now in the cobble street area. This street, before, when we've been here, we've had footsteps, we've had knocking, taps from either room. I'll just take a little walk down, and as I get further towards the two rooms, I've had activity before, then we'll do a little bit of a call out and hopefully we'll get something. I'm calling on any spirits? Any energies? Or entities? If you're here with me now, can you come forward and do something for me please? Let me know you're here. Still silence over here. I'm gonna go look around. There's again more noises to me right hand side this time. So I'm just taking a stroll down to see what's going on. Okay, so I'm doing a lone vigil now in the Anderson shelter. It's very quiet. I've had a few experiences here before. Um, Definitely takes you out of your comfort zone, so I'll say that much. If there's anything in this room with me right now that wishes to communicate, please step forward. I can hear footsteps right now coming from outside the Anderson shelter. Hello? Is there anybody here right now that wishes to communicate with me? Please walk towards me. Can you tap on something for me and let me know you're here?
Come forward. Do something for me. I'm here by myself. Just take a little walk further. As you can see, well, you can't see really the floor. It's cobbled street. I'm just frightened of tripping over. So I'm going very, very slowly. Can you copy my knock? It's gone very cold in here. Hairs on the back of my neck are starting to stick up. You just get that constant feeling that you're being watched. steps again. If that's you, his footsteps I can hear. Please walk towards me. Is there anybody here who'd like to talk to me? Can you tap on something in this room, in this alleyway? Can you copy my whistle? Okay, there's a bit of tapping up there. Copy me, please. Hey, all I can hear is a clock. It's very, very eerie down here. Can you copy my whistle? Just got this feeling of suspense that something's about to happen. It's hard to explain, but I feel just like I'm being watched. It's a very strange feeling. You see where I'm going. I've got the K2 meter in my hand. Again, in this room before, I can now enter this room. There's been a lot of activity in this room. It's very quiet at the moment. I'll just do another call out. Hello? Is anybody in this room would like to talk to me? Past mill workers. Children? Would you like to step forward? Can you move something in the room for me? Give us a sign that you're here. Step forward! I'm going to go and find the rest of the team, I think. So, um, after doing a lone vigil uh, in the Anderson shelter, um, and hearing those footsteps and bangs and stuff, uh, I decided to get the rest of the team down here so we could uh, investigate on a bigger scale. Um, yeah. I'm calling on any spirits. Anyone who'd like to talk to us? Anyone who's in this bunker? You might recognise my voice. I've been here before, we were very active in this room. 
Can you give us a sign that you're here with us now? Step forward. Come towards the green light on the floor. Come towards the device in my hand. They won't harm you. They will just create lights. They'll be an indication that you're here. And you're willing to talk. Can you do that for me, please? Did you hear that bang then? Yeah, that's what's happened. If that was you that banged, could you knock again? Could you knock again? I don't know if anyone else is getting it, but it's gone really cold over here at the minute. I think there's somebody walking about. If that's you, sir, can you go to the middle where the green light is for me? And let us know that you're here with us now. We've been told there's a tyre of a plane that crashed in Cleveland. The two German soldiers. Would you let? I don't know if that was my eyes, but I don't know if I've just seen two flashes in the middle of the floor. I don't know if you've caught that on camera or not. No, that's that. Okay. But the two German soldiers, if you're here now, would you like to step forward? Make yourself be known to us. Can you knock on the walls? Whilst I was in this room, inside the Anderson shelter, on my own, I heard footsteps. You were walking towards me. I'm going to place the K2 on the wheel, because earlier on on our walk round, it went off. The wheel of the plane. The millimetre has been a standard 3 milligrams, it hasn't moved at all. What about temperature? Has it risen? It's set at 70. Okay. Four. That's rising. I'll say it'll be rising because there's people in there, so. Yeah. Is there anybody here who worked in the mill? Grove's mill. Do we have the floor walker we've had before? Okay, that was you. Can you make that bit louder for us, please? What did you hear?